Hey lovelies, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Azay and today I will be talking to you all about growth training. Just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, you can train your hair to both increase the rate at which it grows over a selected period of time and you can also train your hair to sustain that increased rate of growth even in times when you are not taking care of your hair. So for example, in times when you're not moisturizing as often as you should, you're not protein treating on schedule like you thought you would, you're leaving your hair to dry out and you're just not taking care of your hair like you could be, you can train your hair to continue thriving and producing immense amounts of hair growth even in those times when your hair care routines are not as up to par as they could be. And this is essential for achieving our hair goals as quickly as possible. So if you like what you're hearing, and if you like what you're seeing, do not hesitate to like, comment, subscribe, and smash that bell notification so that you don't miss out on any of the amazing videos I and Sierra put out on this channel. Trust me, you're gonna wanna see more of us. And I will be breaking all of this down while I take out my locks because it's time. And just for context, this is a recent discovery. Growth training is a recent discovery I happened upon and that I shared with you all in a previous video. So you can check this video out here. And I was so stoked. And this came from me seeing that Sierra and I grew over an inch of hair in one month, even though we were not keeping up with our hair growth routines for a very specific reason. So if you want some more context on where this is coming from, you should definitely go check this video out. This video is a continuation of the video that I previously uploaded. So without further ado, let's hop right into this video. You already know how excited I am about this discovery and I'm not gonna waste any time hopping in to the content let me just put my hair up in a bun so I already went ahead and sprayed my roots with a mix of conditioner and water and I also shared that in that previous video that I had mentioned before you can go check that out where we were showing you all how we refresh our locks but as i shared in that previous video we specifically that previous month we did not do that routine so that we could have a control on how much our hair grows in a month like i said please go watch this previous video this previous video right here but essentially i was always my number one client i experimented on everything that i share with you all and anytime I start a new hair growth routine, because that's exactly what I'm doing, I'm on a new hair growth journey because I want my hair to be longer than tailbone length now. Sierra wants her hair to be longer than waist length now. And so we're on a new hair growth journey. But anytime I go to start a new hair growth journey, I have to have a control. How much hair do I grow in a month without anything? So that way, once I start these new routines, I can see if these new routines are helping, hindering, etc. How are you going to know something if you don't have a control? So because of that, we did not moisturize our hair on schedule and, you know, massage our scalps with oil. And in a general month, that's what we would do. But because we're starting a new hair growth journey, we had to stop that to see just in a regular old month, how much is your hair growing? We discovered that even when we didn't do those things, our scalps produced double and nearly triple the average amount of hair growth a person experiences. So by the title, I'm gonna start with the basics. Someone commented, up, and it's up here, that they get really disheartened by the fact that they can't even achieve six inches of hair growth in a year much less 12 inches of hair growth in a year. So how can they even just get to six inches of hair growth before we jump to training our hair to reach 12 inches of 
growth in a year. So I'm going to start with the basics. Let's start with training your hair to hit that half an inch average amount of hair growth in a month. That is the average. So if you don't know, the average amount of hair growth a person is supposed to experience in a month is a half an inch. Now by that information, you can see why I was so excited to find out that Sierra and I grew an inch and in some areas of our scalp, one and a half inches of hair. That is in the, the video I'm talking about. I'm telling you, that's a really good video. Just go check it out. The footage, the measurements, it's in that video. So the average amount of hair growth a person is supposed to experience is half an inch a month. How do you get your hair to do that? Well, in my experience, I've been working in healing and growing natural hair for over a decade. From what I experienced is by putting your hair in an environment of nutrition. Scratch everything that you have been taught about DIYs and how they don't work and oils and butters and clarifying and all of those things. Because another one of the members in our community who is a licensed cosmetologist let us know that they don't teach how to take care of natural hair in cosmetology school. It's right here. Thank you to this person for letting us know that because you would think that in cosmetology school they get a large breadth of knowledge about how to take care of natural hair and that's why a lot of licensed cosmetologists make it their business to look down on and belittle the people who use DIY remedies on their natural hair to take care of the natural hair. You would think that that kind of approach to people and how they take care of their hair would be coming from a certain level of knowledge when really it's not. And I knew that that wasn't the case, but to have that confirmed is definitely a new level of confirmation that I didn't know we would ever get. So I say all that to say, scratch everything that's circulating on the internet about DIYs and how they don't work and this, you have to do this and you have to buy that. What I've gathered in my 10 plus years of holistically growing and healing natural hair is that you have to feed your hair nutrients. You have to give your hair what it needs so that way it can continue to be strong and your scalp is fed what it needs so that way it can literally create healthy follicles. If you're not feeding your body what it needs to create the materials that you're looking for, those materials are not going to be found. So prime example, the body is wired to heal itself right so if you scrape your knee and you know you did the basics you cleaned it and now you're letting your body do what it does it'll heal but it may not necessarily heal as quickly as it possibly can it may not heal the best that it possibly can because you're not aiding your body in that process so in my family and probably a lot of you can relate is if we get a burn a scratch obviously you clean it but you can apply honey to it and the honey will help your body regenerate the skin cells that it needs you can after you get that new layer of skin back you can apply cocoa butter to it and the cocoa butter will continue to heal your skin so that way the scar is not as prominent if you get a sunburn you can apply aloe vera to it and that will help you heal quicker the same thing is for hair your scalp is not going to produce hair at an increased rate your hair follicles are not going to push out strong, thick hair strands. And your scalp is not going to activate those dormant hair follicles that may be on your scalp that will densen and thicken the overall head of, your overall head of hair if you don't aid it in that process. Now, what you may have been told is that, oh, this natural hair care line is going to do this for you or this natural hair care line is going to do this for you. And while I'm sure that there are people who have found their natural hair care line, there's a lot out there to make their hair be as luxurious, lustrous, rich, thick, dense, all of those things. And I'm not telling you to stop using the hair care products that you know have improved your hair. But what I am saying is that if you have been spending hundreds of dollars on hair care products, 
using them consistently, using them in the way that they're instructed to be used, because you know, that's something that people love to say, oh, you didn't use it correctly. Okay, well, you have been using the, the products in the way that that they that you have been instructed to use, and you're still, your hair is not hitting that half an inch average growth rate. I'm here to help you, and I'm here to let you know that you can use the routines that I have publicized on this channel to grow your hair. Back to the first question. How do you increase the rate at which your hair grows? You need to feed your hair nutrients. Your hair is made up of 80 to 85% protein, and it's not just keratin. Like, yes, you can feed your hair keratin. Keratin infused, conditioners, all of those things are great. Yes, your hair is made up of keratin. That is true. However, simply putting keratin on your hair is not is not what's going to make your hair longer, healthier, thicker, and stronger. What you need to do is incorporate things into your hair care routine that makes your body produce keratin. I really hope that that makes sense. So, it's like this. I love analogies because I really feel like analogies help paint a better picture because when it comes to our natural hair, it's like people make it so more complicated than it is when it's not. Your hair is a part of your body. Your hair functions the very same way that everything else functions. It's not an alien, foreign thing that's just so difficult to understand. It's not difficult to understand, and that's why I'm here to break it down. Okay, it's like this. This is the best analogy that I could come up with that's like simple and easy to understand. It's that old adage, right, that I don't know the exact words, but I'm pretty sure y'all know what I'm talking about. It's that story where it's about a man and fishing. If you give, if a man is hungry and you give him a fish, he will have a fish for the night. But if you teach him how to fish, he will have fish for the rest of his life. So when it comes to keratin, you can give your hair keratin and it may have temporary benefits, but if you want long-term benefits, and like I said at the beginning of the video, you want increased hair growth over that sustains over a longer period of time. And even when you are not keeping up with your natural hair routines, you need to feed your body and your scalp the nutrients it needs to do that so that way it your hair follicles will literally continue pushing those things out that is the best way i can explain it so yes your hair growth starts inside your body like it's it's only inside now i'm not the, the that kind of person who tells people to increase the amount of food they eat because if you go on some blogs they'll tell you oh you know add salmon to your diet or, or you know add a uh, you know, these things to your diet, pro just protein, increase your amount of protein, and that will transfer into your hair, which I'm not going to deny is true. I'm sure that, that, that I'm sure that that information is true for some people out there. But I also know that there are lovelies out there, and even people in my own family who have nutrient deficiencies, their body simply cannot absorb those kinds of nutrients. So I'm less about putting it through your mouth as much as I am about making your hair absorb it. Now, again, I don't know what people be talking about when they're like, oh, the proteins are too big to go into your hair shaft. I literally do not know what they're talking about because for every single per client that I have worked with, every single person in my family that I give my holistic protein-based treatments to, their hair flourishes I'm not the kind of person I'm not the kind of person who tells people to not believe in science but what I am against is denying people's anecdotal experiences because science said so I believe that there are multiple truths and whatever research they did I'm sure that there's truth to it but I also know that the holistic remedies that I and plenty of people all around the world practice for their beauty and wellness 
are also based in truth and fact. Because if it weren't, then we would not continue seeing the successes that come from using these practices. So that's number one, feed your hair nutrients. I have a protein treatment that is extremely successful, that has, that's chock full of biotin, folate, sulfur, vitamin A, vitamin E, that contributes to your scalp producing stronger, thicker strands at an increased rate. Try out my protein treatment. I literally have publicized it time and time again. I'm gonna keep publicizing it because it keeps working. I'm never gonna tell you anything wrong. It keeps working. Obviously, there are some people out there who may have allergies. Someone recently put a comment. They said that they think that the raw egg gave them an allergic reaction to their scalp. I'm so sorry. Definitely try a patch test on your hair before you put it on your entire scalp just to see if you would have an allergic reaction to it. Chances are slim that you have a reaction that you have a reaction to it, but the chances are never zero. So just in case you're in that demographic of people who do have an allergy to one of the ingredients in the protein treatment, I definitely recommend you do a patch test, but that protein treatment is literally a very, gen a very gentle and very effective way of increasing the rate at which your hair grows and making sure that your scalp is fed the nutrients it needs to produce hair at an increased rate. So making sure that your, those hair follicles that's in your scalp are fed those nutrients that it needs to produce hair at an increased rate. So that's definitely my number one tip. Like you, if, if there's anything that comes out of this video that you take away, it's that. Now, the next thing that I have to tell you in terms of hitting that half an inch of hair growth a month is after you protein treat your hair, you fed, those, you fed your hair those nutrients. Now it's time to make sure that your hair remains in a nutritious environment throughout the month. The protein treatment I recommend for you hitting that half an inch of hair a month is once a month. You don't need to do it twice a week, once a week, once a month. Wash your hair once a month, protein treat your hair once a month. That's really all you need. Obviously, if you want to not do that, by all means, uh, that is totally your prerogative, but that's my recommendation for anybody who's trying to increase the amount of hair that they are growing. Also, I have to stress that you may not experience the half an inch a month the first time you do it, which is another point. You have to be patient. If you're not hitting half an inch of hair a month, you probably aren't hitting a quarter inch of hair a month. You may, you may not know how much hair you're growing in a month without doing anything. So I'm saying you may not experience you know, you're going from a quarter of an inch to a half an inch like that. I am saying though, that the protein treatment has been shown to increase the rate of hair growth, period. So once you begin using it, your hair is going to begin growing at a faster rate. How much faster your hair grows and how much of an increase you're going to experience is really going to happen over time. So I would definitely be patient because me growing me and sierra growing an inch and half an inch of hair has come from us using this protein treatment over a long period of time this isn't a protein treatment that i just started using yesterday this is a protein treatment that i have been using for eight years for probably over eight years now i'm not going to say that it took me eight years to begin growing an inch and half in, a, in an inch and a half of hair in some areas of my scalp because I wasn't measuring. Once I got, once I figured out that my hair was growing half an inch, I'm like, okay, you know, whatever. Like, I don't have to measure it anymore because I know how much my hair is growing. But this month, when I got a control for this new set of hair routines that I'm about, I'm about to do, 
that was a completely new discovery. That was new information to me. So I don't know when my hair jumped from a half an inch to an inch. I can't give you that information. But what I can tell you is to do your own control. Today, starting from today, whenever you see this video, go ahead, grab a tape measure, pull some hair up, measure it, and then in a month's time, measure your hair again and see how long your hair has grown without you changing your routines. You know, just doing the same old, same old. Whether that's doing water and oil, water and conditioner, whatever see how long your hair grows and then start the protein treatment and see how long your hair grows from adding the protein treatment into your routines so with all that said be patient now moving on another thing that i want to say about growth training is that oh that was my point <laughs> making sure that your hair remains in a nutritious environment over throughout the month and within the week and throughout your days. Now, what I do, because my routines are all about simplicity and accessibility, is simply, if there's one thing you do every day, water your hair every day and oil it every day, just like a plant. And I'm not talking about a cactus plant that needs to be watered, drowned in water like once every six months. I'm talking about a sunflower or a marigold or vegetables right if you have a garden I love gardening so I'm saying you can't just neglect your plants you can't just be like oh I'm not gonna water them today especially in that in, in that August July heat when we're planting and stuff you can't do that you have to go outside every single day water them and for me I've been giving them a lot of compost water I do because that makes them more prolific it makes the fruits more nutrient dense so I do give them compost every day and so like I said hair is really not an anomaly it's not something super difficult to understand water your scalp and your hair every day oil your scalp and your hair every day what do plants need they need water sunlight and nutrients hair needs water nutrients and to be left alone those are my three big my big three in terms of growing your hair water it give it nutrients leave it alone so to keep to make sure that your hair is in a nutrient dense environment throughout your weeks in between your wash days the simplest way to do it is to give your hair water or just moisture it doesn't have to be regular water i use tap water but some of the lovelies in our audience in our community have told us that they live in hard water environments they can't just go to their tap and throw it out on their scalp totally get that you can use aloe vera that's even more nutrient dense than water is you can use aloe vera i recommend now here's where things get kick up a little bit i love a simple routine my routines are simple but i also use simple ingredients i don't like buying a ton of store-bought things because they fill them with extra stuff that you didn't know you were signing up for when you bought a 100% aloe vera water. If you look into those, you know, rules, they can say that something is on is 100% and still add things to it. It's true. That's the kind of world we live in today. Because I don't have time to be G-checking every single brand, you know what I do? I just go to the store, I blend up my aloe vera leaf, with the skin on i strain it into a container i store it for as long as i possibly can and use it as needed i even made it even more simple when my family did not have a blender i just kept the aloe vera in my refrigerator i sliced a piece warmed it up in my hands and rubbed it in my scalp because that was the easiest way to make sure my head was my hair was being moisturized and fed the nutrients that it needed while also not being a huge fan of the tap water because at the time I lived in New Jersey I lived in Newark we had a series or they have a serious lead problem I know that lead is not considered hard water from what one of you had explained in the comments but regardless of such, there were times when the water was literally coming out brown and orange out of our faucets. 
that made me literally just not want to use water unless I was washing my hair. But I wouldn't wash my hair if the water was like, well, it would, you know, I would wait until it cleared back up. But yeah, regardless of sex, I would also did not used to, you just used tap water on my hair. I would use aloe vera as much as I possibly could. Um, and that was years ago when I was on, first learned how to take care of my hair. As I've explained many times before, to grow my hair from my ears to my tailbone, I just used tap water, olive oil, my protein treatment and conditioner. So yes, those are a couple of tips that I have for hitting that half an inch a month benchmark. Now, for those of you who want to increase, who want to increase the amount of hair you grow in a month even further, I simply recommend you keep those routines up, seriously. I honestly think that it, I honestly, I just think it's profitable to keep telling us that our natural hair requires so much more. It's profitable. It makes sure that we buy, that we keep buying products and make sure that we keep not seeing the results that we want. Like if I'm, if I'm in industry, you know, I'm going to make sure that you have a reason to come back. And the main reason that people come back is because they're not getting the results that they want in the first place and in much more affordable ways. Some things right off the bat that I know for a fact increases the rate at which your hair grows is protein, which goes back to my protein treatment. Use it, try it. I'm not gonna tell you to do anything extreme until you use that because that's another thing too. Like we're always on here, how to grow 10 inches overnight, how to grow 10 inches in a week. That's unrealistic. You're setting yourself up to be disappointed in your natural hair journey before you even begin. Before you even begin, stop. It's not realistic. You're not going to experience that much hair growth unless you are in a very special demographic of people who just has it like that because there are some people who can grow 10 inches in a year i've seen it it happens people can do that but definitely not in a week and definitely not in a month so chill uh i say that to say y'all keep asking about rice water i'm not going to go out here and be telling all of you out there to use rice water because when people don't tell you is that if you use rice water and if you make rice water incorrectly and use it on your hair it can make your hair brittle and fall out and i know that a lot of you will be very angry and very disappointed and very sad if you were to go make rice water put it on your hair and then it falls out because your hair was not strong enough to deal with the rice water your hair has not been conditioned to protein to use the rice water your hair is not used to having so such a strong treatment in it that it seizes and falls out your hair is not even healthy enough to do it if you are a relaxed girly you cannot be throwing protein on your hair because your hair is not healthy enough to deal with it it's not it's not so i say all that to say y'all keep asking about rice water y'all are so quick to ask me about this rice water and to go use it and i'm not going to give you through these videos my rice water treatment until y'all have gone and used the regular protein treatment because the regular protein treatment is strong enough i didn't even use that in the three years that i was growing my hair from my ears to my tailbone i didn't use it once but y'all are so quick to jump from the protein treatment and go use the rice water and this is all a lot of love, ladies. it really is. But I'm telling you, that's the reason why I am I have not done a video on it yet because y'all don't understand that some of the things that do promote extreme hair growth, it's called extreme for a reason. You have to, especially with all of the things that they put our natural hair through, going to stylists, breaking our hair off, dealing with chemical damage and heat damage, the pressure to go back to texturizers and relaxers, we have a lot of stuff going on with our natural hair and it would be irresponsible of me to just go and tell y'all, yeah, make it this way, do it the way that I do it. And I have never had a relaxer. I've never had heat damage. I've never 
ha I have never had any extreme trauma done to my hair. My hair has been natural since birth. I have been using this protein treatment for eight plus years. So the things that I do is not always going to be the thing that I recommend for you all out there to do because j knowing from the natural hair community that I'm in, the clients that I work with, and just being a black girl surrounded by other black girls, I know that I, my specific hair circumstance is not the rule. It's the exception. The majority of us have gone through a lot of damages to our natural hair and in order to heal your hair and your scalp from those damages, you have to start with the basics, which is the point of the Getting Back to the Basics series. We have to start with the basics. We have to start with you learning how to incorporate nutrient-dense products into your routines. We have to start with you understanding that your hair does not have to be washed once a week. We have to start with you understanding that your hair doesn't have to be styled every week. You, we have to start with you knowing that your natural hair is beautiful regardless of the length and regardless of how it's styled. Your hair is beautiful if it's in mini twists. Your hair is beautiful if it's in braids. Your hair is beautiful if it's in an afro. Your hair is beautiful if it's in two puffs. But we're not there yet. We're not even at the point where we're comfortable going outside with our edges looking like this because we feel like it's unacceptable. It's not, it, it, it's not aesthetic for our hair to be 4C, but our edges gotta look 3C in order for it to be accepted. We're still dealing with texturism. We're still dealing with the belief that our hair has to be looser curled in order for us to appreciate it. So y'all are trying to go from zero to 100. And then if at 50, your hair falls out because this rice water treatment is not ready for you to use yet, now you just like, forget it, I'm just going to go back to relaxers. So, yes, lovelies. Tough love, but it's all love. That That is the real deal. I'm not here to waste your time. I'm not here to lead you astray. If you're over here watching these videos to grow your natural hair, I'm going to help you grow your natural hair. But we have to understand what what's tea. Because this channel is different from the channels that you may be used to channels that get a lot of sponsorships from brands so they literally they are paid to tell you to go buy this product that is their contract their contract is that they're going to put it in their video tell y'all to go buy it because that is what they were paid to do and if they don't do that they are violating their contract that is illegal so they can't do that i ain't got near sponsorship not one okay this is real life. This is what we're doing. This is this is what the, the girls are doing off the cameras and in real life, which is the reason why I'm telling you about it. To grow your natural hair this length and longer, because my that, that's, that's what we're doing. And I'm very excited for y'all to join me on that journey. You have to develop a certain approach to your natural hair. Think of your natural hair like you would think of any body part. Your skincare, your heart, your brain, your body. It needs certain nutrients, certain things for it to be taken care of. And luckily, those things that I'm recommending are great for your pockets, they're great for your time, and it's great for your goals. It's great for your goals. So, I'm gonna give y'all this natural hair ASMR now because those are really it. I'm gonna put up here some key videos you should watch on the natural hair routines I recommend if you want to begin growth training your hair because these are the this is the basis of the neck this this is the natural hair routine that i use and that i recommend to sierra and that i recommend to any client who doesn't have any serious problems that need to be remedied these routines are the basis of what i recommend to anyone who is wanting to start taking care of their natural hair 
and achieving their goals as soon as possible your hair is going to get thicker your hair is going to be longer your hair is going to be softer which is going to allow it to be more manageable for styles your hair is going to grow longer than you ever thought it could and if in those routines after checking those routines out and using them you find that you need more help and more assistance i offer one-on-one -on -one personalized natural hair consultations where i will give you a step-by-step, day-by-day, week-by-week, month-by-month breakdown of what you need to do to reach your hair goals, what you need to do to heal your hair from the chemical damage, heat damage, traction alopecia, sanition alopecia, uh, your hair burning from the sun, your hair getting thinner from age. I have a lot of specialized routines and recipes in my pockets that I will share with you so that way you can achieve your natural hair goals as soon as possible, okay? There's a promotion going on right now. It's 25% off. Use this code right here, new hair, new me, for 25% off all of my sessions. Spots for September are going fast. Spots for September are going fast. I highly recommend you book as soon as possible because the demand is large, but supply <laughs> is getting shorter and shorter because I'm just one person. Now is the time that I definitely wanna let you know that Sierra will be helping me with these consultations in the future because there's just so many of you. She has been right alongside me for the majority of the time that I've been working on natural hair. She's very knowledgeable on natural hair and has the same amount of knowledge that I do in terms of helping you all grow your natural hair. And I'm telling you now that in the future, some of you all will be booking with Sierra because the demand has, is, is large. So like I said, you can book here at justforblackgirls.com slash book dash online. I'm super excited to meet you all. And like I said, don't be afraid to come to me and let me help you. It's okay if you don't know your hair type. It's okay if your hair is graying. It's okay if you have ball spots. It's okay if you have chemical damage. It's okay if you have heat damage. It's okay if you have traction alopecia. It's okay if you're taking medication. My screening is very thorough. My processes are very flexible and my specialized routines are very effective. And the results are undeniable. If you are skeptical i just want to let you know there is a 100 percent back money guarantee where if in the amount of time your natural hair care plan is drafted for there are one month three months and six month plans if in the amount of time that your one that your plan is drafted for you don't see any improvement in your natural hair you will get your money back in full no questions asked so like i said i'm going off camera now or not off camera, I will be on camera, but I won't be talking so that way I can actually take out my hair. And I hope that you enjoy it. And then I will come back once my hair is all out and then I will bid you all farewell.
one and a half inches of hair, y'all. <sighs> Keep trying to tell y'all something. But I just wanted to hop in and say, I just recorded it for you all in real time. As you saw where my finger was, it's not quite two inches. It's about one and a half inches or honestly slightly above one and a half inches. It's like one and three quarters of an inch, which is mind blowing to me. I put these locks in August 4th. It's today is September 14th. So it's a little bit over a month, but when I recorded the video that we last posted, that was a week ago. So that was exactly around the 30 day period. So, and it was still a month, a month and a half in some places of hair growth. So just wanted to give you all more specific dates and times of when things were happening so yes now is about a month and probably closer to a month and a half of hair growth but last week was definitely around the 30 day period so just wanted to hop in and let you all know that but now i'm going to get back to taking out these locks all right lovelies this is what my hair is looking like and i just want to say this it is so soft it literally feels like i just took it out of a braid out. and i did i did just take it out of braids but it felt like i didn't even have any protective style at all that's how moisturized my hair feels like it's crazy i've been in the pool I've been walking around doing stuff and my hair just feels so good. You can see the moisture. Like I can moisturize my hands with the moisture that's in my hair right now. Like, let me see if you can see. Like you see that sheen? That's not regular. And yes, I have eczema. Seasons is changing, so my hands is pouring out. But <clears throat> I'm digging it and I'm, what I'm going to do in the meantime is just throw it up in a pineapple. So yes, there is minimal dirt buildup. It's crazy to me. Very minimal. And yes, this is exactly how much hair has grown. That much. Which is about an inch and a half of hair. Also, 
keep your eyes peeled for a new wash day video coming because I will be incorporating some new things into my routine because like I said your girl's on a hair growth journey even though I could literally I could literally just keep doing the protein treatment and letting my hair grow like that I, I I and I am like the protein treatment isn't going anywhere but I didn't I don't have to add anything new but I want to add new things because I need some new things to recommend to you all. I love you, lovelies. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.